Welcome back to another episode on Beho Reviews. In this episode, we take a look back to one of my favorite games from the Xbox 360 generation with Bioshock Infinite. With the impending release of Judas from famed director Ken Levine, it brought back my fond memories to his last game released in the Bioshock series way back in 2013. I was very fond of the storytelling and direction, especially with Bioshock Infinite, which I still believe could be made into a television series or movie so well as the story grips you to its core. With Epic Games Store giving me a free copy of Bioshock The Complete Edition on my Windows PC, I wondered if this game truly still holds up in 2024. Bioshock Infinite was developed by the defunct Irrational Games and released by 2K Games in 2013 for the PlayStation 3, Windows PC, and Xbox 360. It was then re-released for the PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and Nintendo Switch as the complete edition in 2014. That included the DLC for two episodes of Burial at Sea. This first-person shooter pushes the story elements from the original two Bioshocks and expands on them with a companion on your journey with Elizabeth by helping you along the way. The story, which is one of the best part of the game, is set in the year 1912 as you follow Booker DeWitt who ventures into an airborne city of Columbia to retrieve Elizabeth who is held captive there. As they both try to escape Columbia, they are both embroiled in a class war between the founders that rule Columbia and the rebels who run the lower class. Although the experience here for just the main campaign will run you just about 8 to 12 hours of gameplay, the story is so well told you feel so complete by the end of it. Even playing the game again just for the hell of it, I couldn't stop going from one story arc to the next until I just beat the game again, even though I knew what was going to happen. Caused a mess of trouble at the raffle. You Fitzroy? Nothing but. I got no quarrel with you or your Vox Populi. But this is my airship you're hanging me out of, and I got perilous need of it. Really? Cause it sure look like old Comstock's airship Listen, to me. I ain't looking for a fight. There's already a fight to win. Only question is, which side do you on? The added DLC with Burial at Sea is something I did not play back in the 360 era, but it does tie into the original Bioshock adventure and is done well. Although very heavy in storytelling, it gives you the finality of the series as it truly comes full circle. No. The writing here is fantastic. The excellent storytelling and character development keeps you guessing all the way through to the end. The game still gives me chills playing this again with all its plot points and wrapping things up to the very end. The gameplay is fun, but I would never call this a competitive shooter with the likes of Call of Duty, which is fine for a casual gamer who will love to jump in and won't get boggled down by the complexity. They do combine powers and gunplay, which is a nice touch that has you experiment, but I rarely use powers except when I was really in a pinch. Adding Elizabeth to the mix makes the game a bit easier as you can have her give you health, ammo, a power gauge, and even open up tears that can help you in various different situations like puzzles and attacks on enemies. There is a bit of strategy here, but again, running and gunning with my trusty shotgun took me most of the way with no real issues. The visuals and design here is really something to behold. With the Unreal 3 engine and aging tech, it doesn't matter when the design of the game is done so beautifully and really is stunning. I would just marvel at what the developers have done here. 
vibrant with its colors to dark spaces are done so well with a lot of thought here that will make you pause just to check things out. Even in 2024, this is one heck of a well-designed game. Overall, a must-play, no matter how you can get your hands on it. Super cheap and under $10 was the last time I saw it, but it's an experience that you will never forget. Playing it on my PC made the experience that much better with 4K visuals and a butter smooth 60 frames per second. Really does spoil you rotten, but a welcome play even today. That's it for this look at an absolute classic of one of my favorite story driven games of all time with Bioshock Infinite. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Beho out and Greg take us out of here, and I will see you all next upload.